welcome back to the Box of Lights game channel. We're playing Robinson Crusoe Adventure on the Cursed Island. In episode 2, we're going to look at the first round of the game. I'm going to take it nice and slow. We're going to look at the round order. We're going to understand what it is that a particular round of the game plays like. And then as the series progresses, we're going to speed up a little bit, watch uh, a few rounds unfold each episode and only pick up on new rules as and when we come across them. Before we start, I want to make one quick change. Friday's white, the dog is pink. That's what it says in the rule book. I, got, I placed them down the wrong way, so if we start right, we'll stay right, and hopefully that won't cause any confusion for, for us beginners. Let's begin by reminding ourselves exactly what it is we need to achieve in this scenario. We're castaways on a deserted island. It's the end of summer. We have to prepare for winter, build a shelter, put a roof and a palisade on that shelter. It's going to be difficult to survive during the tough months ahead. We have to build a wood pile so we can fire it up if we spot a ship on the horizon, attracting its attention and calling for help. So our goal then is to build a fire item, build our pile of wood, and manage to complete that by the 10th, 11th or 12th round. Let's start things off by looking at the round order in the top left here. There's a lot going on on the board, but it's really well designed and laid out, so there are things on the board which indicate exactly where you should be at, at each phase of a round. These are our round orders, and they're numbered 1 to 6. I'm going to use one of these wood, blue wooden cubes just to help us keep track of exactly where we are during the round. We start with the event phase, then the morale phase, production phase, action phase, weather phase and finally the night phase. When we get to the end we go right back to the beginning and each player will play each phase then we move on to the next each player will play the next phase and so on. Okay and at the end of the night the first player token would move and, and we begin again. But what's good about these phases is they're numbered 1 to 6 and then each area of the board that applies to the round is number two. So the event phase is when we take an event card. We can see there's a number one here and the event phase symbol. Likewise, the second phase is the morale phase. And if we move across here, we can see that there's a number two here. So this helps us remember visually that we're moving from the event phase over here to number two, the morale phase here. During the first round of the game, we're actually going to skip the event phase. That's what the rules tell us. So we start in, round, in phase two, the morale phase. So when we come to the next episode of the series, we'll begin with the event phase and we'll learn then exactly what happens then. Basically, we're going to be looking at pulling one of these events. Something's going to happen. So we're, we're kind of given a, a little bit of a soft time to begin on the first round. So for the second phase, the morale phase, we're looking for the area of the board with the number two on it, which is up here on our morale track. There's a special rule when you're playing solo, and only when you're playing solo, and it says before you begin the morale phase, right at the beginning of the morale phase, you move your token up one spot from zero to number one at the beginning. And this kind of reflects the fact that you're happy to be alive, it tells us. So we're relieved, we're here, we're not dead, our morale goes up. Okay, when you're playing um, two or more players, that doesn't happen, but you're going to have to keep each other happy and do stuff to uh, boost each other's morale. And now we're going to have to decide what's going to happen when we're in this particular phase. And all we do here is look at the, the number. So we've got a positive morale. What this means is we're going to get one, and this, this icon here means determination token. So we're going to take one determination token. Determination tokens are like the currency of the game, if you like. Okay, we don't have gold and silver. That doesn't mean anything to us on the island. What we have is our determination. Okay, and that's our currency. So while we're here sitting at number one in the morale phase, we're going to gain one determination token. If we were down here, we would lose one or two or three. And if we couldn't afford it, then we would start taking wounds. I've already got all my tokens boxed up. So but these are the determination tokens, these brown tokens with, with uh, kind of gold stars on them. So we're going to take one of these and we're going to give this to our explorer. 
And this is how I say these things are the kind of the currency of the game. You can see that my explorer has these different special abilities. Um, Child of Fortune, Reconnaissance, Motivational Speech, Scouting. These things cost Determination Tokens. So Child of Fortune here costs two Determination Tokens. Okay, so that's Morale Phase. Like I say, while we're up here, we're receiving determination tokens. While we're down here, we're losing them. And if, for example, here we have to pay two determination tokens, we don't have them. If it's, if it's a minus two, then it would be take two wounds. For as long as our morale is high, we're getting more determined. The third phase of the game is the production phase. And we're reminded of this because of the number three here. And this is the resources spaces. So these are future resources. These are ones that we we will get, and these are available resources, resources that are available to us now. And what happens during the production phase is we get some more resources made available to us. And once more, this is a very simple phase. Although there's lots of phase, phases in a round, some of them play out really quickly. What's going to happen here is we're going to look at the island tile where our camp is. Right, that's the only tile we're going to look at. There may be some events, adventure cards and so on that, that makes other things happen during this phase, but the basic rule is during the production phase we look at the island tile where our camp is and we're going to look at these icons here. This icon here says we produce one wood and this icon here says we produce one food. These brown cubes represent wood, so we're going to get one of these and these yellow cubes represent food, so we're going to get one of these. Right, so whatever icons are on our island tile where our camp is, we're going to get one of the, each of those resources. All right, and we're going to take those resources now, and we're going to place them in the available resources spot. And these resources that we produce here during this production phase are available to us immediately. And what that means is if, if we've got anything going on here that, that we could make use of a piece of wood or a piece of food, we could take those resources and use them immediately. Now, there's a special rule here on this scenario and that says that right before the action phase which we're about to move into that's the only point at which you can put wood on the pile. All right. So in order to demonstrate this I'm going to grab this piece of wood and place it here on the wood pile in this number one spot. And there's an unwritten rule here, but it, it is a rule, so I'm going to teach it to you now. The rules do tell us that we can only do this once per round, okay, place wood on the log pile. And when we do so, we can only place it in one of these five columns. And when we're placing wood, and this is the unwritten part, on the log pile, we have to start with the, the one and once we filled this one, then we can start filling the two. And once we filled this one, then we can start filling the three, all the way up to here. Okay, so on this round, I've got one piece of wood. There's only one spot I can place it, and that's here. You know, I can't start filling up down the middle somewhere. But now I've completed this column, on the next round, I could put one or two pieces of wood in the second column, or none, um, if I don't have any, um, and so on, until the wood pile is complete. And remember... Placing wood on the wood pile happens right between the production and the action phase, which we're moving to now.